We are not a team because we work together. We are a team because we respect, trust, and care for one another. Hey guys, thank you for joining for this week's episode. I wanted to talk to you guys about teamwork making the dream work. And the reason that I wanted to talk to you about that topic this week was, you know, this past week was the Pivotal Company's annual retreat. And for our retreat this year, um, we did some topics that I've talked in previous episodes about, um, which were, you know, what is your why? And what does success mean to you? And taking time, think time to really think about, you know, the path that you're on and the goals you're trying to reach. And so for, for the Pivotal Companies, our retreat was very simplified. It was virtual. And basically we did some cool, um, self-reflection type exercises and self-exploration. And, you know, we, we titled it Restore, Explore, and um, went from that, that kind of an angle with it. So on Wednesday of last week, we had Enneagram Alex. Um, she came on and we did an Enneagram episode with her where she, or, you know, class with her, where we talked about and took our Enneagram test to see what type we were. And then just how we work and function and who we can identify in pop culture culture that may be similar of a style of personality to us. And so the Enneagram, if you're not really familiar with it, it really discovers your motivation behind the why, the things that you do. And so for a lot of us, it was super enlightening and you can be mistyped just so you know, I thought I was an eight and I learned I'm a three. Um, So recognizing that was kind of fun and a different angle. And it was cool for my team members to learn about it and see what type they were and how we can interact with each other. The other thing we did was we took our disc test and we had Holly, who's been on an episode before, she's our executive coach, and she ran our disc profiles. And the disc really looks at, the disc stands for dominance, um, influence, steadiness, and compliance. And so it really looked at our team as a whole, and we were able to plot us on the wheel and see where we all, what kind of people we were and how we work best with each other. So it's really takes into consideration your innate traits Um, And it also looks at your adapted traits. And so throughout the years, I've actually been DISC many times and I have been able to see, you know, the changes. And when you look at your natural styles versus your adapted styles, when you are compensating or lowering something in your adapted style that can create stress in your life at work. And so both were really cool exercises for us to do um, some reflection on, you know, where we've been, what we've been through to really be forward facing and goal oriented on what we want to accomplish come 2022 to create those goals and really be able to hold each other accountable for them. And so we had Wednesday was a full day of learning. Thursday was our think day. We were quiet and we didn't talk to each other and we were shut down as a business and we solely each individually focused on our goals and not just personally or not professionally, just not just professionally, but personally as well. And really, you know, we're able to come back together on Friday morning and talk about it. And the coolest thing happened, there's eight of us. And what was cool is that a lot of us have similar goals and similar, even personally, um, things that we're working on to further our education or our knowledge base and to grow as individuals. And it was really cool because we work remotely and not often do we all work together. And so depending on who And what your role is within our company, you know, you may have more interaction with one person and hardly interaction with another. And so it was really awesome for us to be able to come together to learn about ourselves and each other as a team, and then to be able to go away and have no distractions for a day and think and plan like these are the things that I really, you know, are important to me and I need to dial back into personally. And so it was an awesome, you know, retreat and everybody really enjoyed it. The takeaways, some of the takeaways were, you know, it's best retreat they had ever had because it was focused on you as an individual and a person, not on the organization solely. And, you know, you hear and read all kinds of quotes all the time. I do, especially on LinkedIn about, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link or, you know, that you, as a P, as a company that you're, you know, you're better when your people are better. If they're happy, you know, your people, you keep the people happy. It keeps the business happy and functioning. It keeps your clients happy. So it was really important to me to allow our space 
um, a space for us to be able as a group to do it individually and collectively. And so it was just really beneficial. And, you know, I thought the quote for this week, which was, you know, we're not a team just because we work together. We are a team because we respect, trust, and care for each other. And that was really exemplified this, this past week for us. And it was just really helpful. So if you haven't taken a think day, which I've talked about in the past, or time to yourself to just reflect and to really kind of just plot out your future. And it doesn't have to be, you know, tomorrow, today, it can be five years, 10 years, 15 years, it can be a bucket list. Um, you know, there's a, a variety of ways to do that. I've come across some really awesome worksheets. If you guys are interested, leave a link in the comments of, or shoot me a message and I'm happy to shoot you the goal and work, uh, the goal worksheets that I have and the brainstorming sessions that I've come across. Um, because it really gave us an opportunity for some of us to realize that we weren't taking the time personally, that we needed to tend to our, our, our marriages or our kids or our families. And it also gave us the time to really stop and look at what we care about as a human and how can we do better at you know, doing acts that, that are important to us and making time and space for those. And so that's really what this week's episode is about. I wanted to talk about teamwork, making the dream work. I um, think every single one of us on the team will tell you the same thing. Like we were all shocked at the end that there's several of us that are looking at uh, real estate classes and real estate licenses or brokers licenses. There are several of us that are looking and building Airbnb portfolios um, that we didn't know others were doing or interested in. There are, you know, just a lot of a variety of things that we were doing that were really interwoven or um, complementary of one another and kind of in the same wheelhouse that each of us are working on independently, but it was it was really eye-opening to see us as a group. So the Pivotal Companies is very well-rounded. Um, we've plotted our discs on our wheel. Um, we do need some people in the S category. So when we add to our team in the future, we may be adding an S, high S uh, personality on the disc test. But um, nonetheless, I encourage you guys to take that time for self-exploration, for um, plotting, planning, and goal planning for your future, and really making space for the now, the here and now. And that's really all I wanted to talk about this week. Um, I would love to hear from you guys, as usual, if you have any thoughts on, you know, being a team or any activities that you've done for team building, especially for remote workers, um, you know, I would love to hear about them. So feel free to leave those, those uh, comments in the feed below. And um, I'll look forward to hearing from you guys and talking to you soon. Thanks so much and have a great week. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please hit like and subscribe.